This is going to be a very real video. So be prepared for this. And a lot of you is going to relate to this deeply, bruh. <laughs> deeply. Before I start that, I just want to say as well, don't forget about the merch, guys. Like, I made that stuff for y'all. I appreciate everyone that's got it, that's supported. But man, the t-shirts are literally unreal. The coffee mugs are literally unreal. I drink coffee of them every single day. So check that out for sure. The link is in the description box. Don't forget about it. It's unreal. You're not gonna not like what you're gonna get. So let's get on with this video. I don't know what it is. In fact, I do know what it is and that's what we're gonna explain. Like you don't know what it is, but you do. It's, it is what it is. The world is backwards, man. The world is seriously backwards. Like, imagine being against people that could highly, highly, highly benefit you and your quality of life. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine going against people who could literally give you a better quality of life? I can't imagine it. I wish people around me would step up their game. I wish everybody would step up their game. The world would be better. The, the, the vibes would be better. Like, I don't, I don't, that's what I don't get. That's what I don't get. Your success only pushes people further away. Like most people. There's going to be very few, bro, who understand you. There's going to be very few who want to be around you more. But it's going to push most people away due to jealousy. Like, bro, it's envy. Like, bro, if people can't even be around you, if people can't even look at you, if people see you and just get mad, they're not in the right state of mind. Like, they are very flawed. Like, they're not flawed. They're very flawed. Like, very. With a capital V-E-R-Y. Very flawed. It's okay to be flawed. They are very flawed. They are very jealous. They are very angry. They are very bitter. And anything good you do, it's going to trigger them hard. They can't help themselves. That's what I don't get. I can't relate. I've never been that person once in my life. Not for one day of my life. Not for 30 minutes of my life. I have never been that. I don't get it. Bro, people is that a lot. Like, for a lot of their life, they were that. <laughs> I just don't understand. When people around you do better, it should only improve your quality of life if you're in their life now. It should give you a more lease of life, but... People see you as competition. That's the problem. Some of your own damn people see you as competition. They don't see you as an individual. They see you as competition and the things you do, the things you achieve, the things you acquire threatens them so hard. And you know why it threatens them so hard? It's because they're not even going to come close in their entire lifetime to even touch what you've already touched. Let alone what you will touch going forward in your own life. That's why some people, bro, when you hit a certain point, and like I said at the start of this video, there is levels to this. You hit certain levels, bro. You're, there's going to be people that you used to know that you talk to quite a bit. When you hit certain levels, that stops. All of a sudden, the people you used to talk to on a daily basis, maybe at the gym or somewhere else, they can't even look at you no more, bro. 
they can't even have a conversation with you no more because of the level you hit, they will never hit that level and you're only gonna go higher. That's where that relationship, that connection, that friendship, whatever it might be, is going to come to a screeching halt. Because their minds simply cannot fathom what you done. It just can't. Like, they're that in denial. They're that bitter. They're that angry that you've done what you've done. And they don't want to talk about it. They just want to have this jealous, envious energy that's just against you 24-7. That's how they want to go about it. Because deep inside, they are very flawed with capital words. They just act like they're not. They just want to act like they were on your level. But bro, you hit a certain point, they can't act no more. Because the results really show. And it's not a competition between you and them. But they take it that way. I don't care who you are or where you're at. I'm going to talk to you if you're good shit. And I don't expect you to look at me and be threatened for what I've done. Don't even think about it. Why are you weird about shit? Why do you got to be weird about the things I've done? Who even cares? I don't even care. Why do you care? I just live my life as every day that I wake up out of bed, God willing, it's a new day. Everything else is an illusion. We are reborn every single day of our lives, guys. And the smartest people, the most effective people on earth understand that. Every day is an opportunity. Every day is a new day to do new things, to do and, and to put your time into things that you want to do. But they want to look at you in a certain way that's just an illusion. And it's very ineffective. It's a very small, shallow mind. They want to be butthurt about little shit. And it goes to show you how flawed you actually are. You are a hater. You can't even help it. You can't change your mindset if your life depended on it. And it's because of your own patheticness. It's because of your own pathetic actions. But they don't want to be held accountable either. They don't want to take this L. They just want to make it seem like it's not that and they're in their world and oh, they're so good and, and all. Bro, chill the out. You can't even be real. You can't even talk about what's real. Like I said, who cares what I did? Who cares what I accomplished? Who cares what you did? Who cares what you accomplished? We can talk right now. You don't have to look at things that way. But your haters do. Because they're in competition with you 24-7. They're not your boy. They're not your friend. Any females that are like this, it's not your girl. And guess what? If family's this way towards you, they're not your real family. They're just an undercover little hating ass. They're not with you. You reverse these roles. You don't act this way. You reverse these roles. Other people's having their shine. You don't act this way. You accept what is. You don't look too deeply into things. That is their life. That is their business. Wake up. Have some, show some gratitude. Show some kindness. Show some empathy. You should be stoked for that person. Because guess what? That person that has done anything good, they have earned it. God didn't flick his fingers and just... Drop a treasure chest down from heaven. I guarantee you they earned it. Got to respect it. But your haters won't do it. They're just always offended. They're just always butthurt. Your success does that to them. They can't help it. 
they want to compare themselves to you. They want to try to be as great as you right now and they can't possibly fathom in their minds that you're on a different level. Like they can't give you your credit. You have time too, buddy. You have time too. You can do what you want with your time. I do what I want with my time. And who even cares? I respect what's real. Your haters don't. My haters don't. They don't respect what's real. They're in denial. They're just... They need to think things about... They need to think certain things about certain things. To make themselves feel better because they feel like such trash. Let yourself feel like trash. Build yourself up. Do you think I always felt amazing my whole life? <laughs> Rewind six, seven, eight, nine years ago, up to 10 years ago. I was at a point in my life where I felt dead inside. But guess what? I put the pedal to the metal. I did not care. Because I knew this is temporary. I'm not going to feel this way forever. I'm a winner at heart because I ain't going to give up. That's all you have to know. That's how you have to carry yourself. But your haters don't get it. They want to be you right now. They want to think how you think right now. They want to be on the level you're on right now. They don't see it for what it is. They're just angry about what's not. You can't be this way. You have your own life. You have to go through things just like I had to go through things, just like all y'all had to go through things. But they don't get it. They just want to look now. Look too deeply into your life now. Be a monitoring spirit now. Spying on your life, caring, overly caring too much about what's going on for you. And the reason they do this is because absolutely nothing is happening for them. That's why they do this. They look too deep into things. Stop doing it. Stop looking too deep into things. Be like the air. Be like free. Be like the air and flow like water. Don't, don't look too deep into things. And start studying people and everything else. That's just weird. You're weird. You're, you're an actual weirdo. Like, what are you doing? But that's how they are. And they're not going to give you the credit for who you are. Like, they just don't want to be respectful whenever you deserve respect. You deserve respect. You deserve to be treated well. You deserve to be liked. You deserve to be honored. You have good energy. You have built yourself up. But haters want to bring you down. That's what they want to do. They want to give you bad vibes because they feel like such shit. They don't want to come around you and feed off your good energy and uplift themselves. They just want to tear everything down to the ground, right where they're at, at rock bottom. Because they refuse to fight. Your haters, guys. They refuse to fight for what's right. That's why I started this movement, Elevate. That's the merch. The link is in the description. That's the merch. You start at the bottom, you go up, you go down a little bit, you go back up, down, up, down, up. And we ain't letting them take us back down. They can hate us all they want, guess what? It's not gonna change what we do. We're gonna keep focusing one day at a time. When you build a house from scratch, you don't look at it like, I'm gonna build this house today. The whole thing, it's not how it works. You focus on the first step, and then the second, and then the third, and then the fourth, and the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, etc. You focus on steps, and guess what? You don't go from step one to step 100 in a day. You might get step one, step two done in a day. That's one day. You wake up, 
You focus on the next steps. You focus on the next steps every single day. You focus on the next steps. But guess what? You have the nerve to do this. You have the ability to do this because you're not dumb. You understand life. You understand what things, how things have to happen, how things actually work. But your haters, they don't get it. And they don't want to get it because they are self-delusional. They view things, bro, this is something about your haters that I, I don't think I've ever said before. Everything they think and their perception on how things are and how things work is actually false. They don't know what to do. They actually don't. And they're so arrogant, they can't change. That is true arrogance. You can't change. You're not open-minded. You're arrogant to your ways. You want to think how you want to think. You're not open-minded. You don't actually want to learn. You don't actually want to just accept who you are right now, where you're at right now. This is unacceptable and I'm going to do something about it. That is arrogance. No, yes. And they're hating on you because you're doing what's right. They hate that you have the ability to do what's right and they don't. They hate that about you, bro. And this is not a competition between me, between you, between any of us. Everyone is on their own journey. Everyone has their own timeline. And that's how it works. You can't stare into someone else's life and think you want that and think you deserve that. You don't. No one really deserves anything. Things go your way when you move the right way for long enough. If you go to the gym for a year and you want results and you get some results, but that's all you wanted, that's all you're gonna get. The results are gonna fade when you start to not go to the gym after one year. People who get fit and stay fit are in the gym for a lifetime. It is a commitment. It is something you just always do. I know people, bro, who started off at the gym with me and they went for about a year and they fell off. They got back into drugs, smoking, boozing, drinking, and all this kind of stupid stuff because they didn't do it for them. They did it temporarily to maybe get a few girls, which they succeeded in doing. But then they got broken up with and all of a sudden they just fall into this pit and all this stuff and that is a weak-minded person. This is a person I used to be friends with for a couple years. Fast forward in life, look where I'm at, look where they're at. They're not doing so hot, they're not doing so well. They don't look so good either. <laughs> like everyone has a choice. I've gone through trying times, I've been through hard times. You don't think so? The difference between me and a lot of individuals is I don't break. You can't break me. You can beat me to my knees. You can hit me with a truck. I'll get right back up and I'll look at you. <laughs> You're going to have to kill me to stop me. That's how I am. You have to be unstoppable. People who are unstoppable in life, true chosen ones who are unstoppable in life, are always going to secure the W because we don't quit. It's not that we don't go through hard times like everybody else. We don't get weak in those situations. We choose to be strong. We choose strength. We are durable. We are built for it. We make hard choices. We make hard decisions. There's huge, huge differences. Like, guys, most people would not, would not want to live the life I lived for the last nine, ten years. 
And that's why not most people is going to have the life I have and will have. You have to live a life that's almost like boring sometimes or just not the most entertaining or fancy or fabulous all the time. It's got to get grimy. It's got to get dirty. You have to literally live not only days but years where things kind of just suck a little bit. Like, they, it's not completely horrible 24-7 and just to never live a nightmare, but like, bro, like you have to go through days, months, weeks, and years sometimes where things just ain't so bright and fun and glorious. You have to live those years. It is crucial. And if you're not willing to do that, if you're not willing to do what it takes, don't cry for what you can't get. That's what it takes. You have to look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm willing, I'm going to do it. Like, you don't understand. You don't understand the ability. I, I was talking about this to a friend the other day in the gym just a couple days ago. I have the ability to suffer. That's the ability I have. I have the ability to suffer. Like, I can absolutely not care how I feel and just have it hard. That's the thing. Most people can't do that, bro. They don't even want to live one day like that. That is the issue. No wonder you have haters. You make things look easy, but it's not easy. You're just a hard motherfucker, bro. You do what it takes. You prove yourself elite over time, and people never used to view you that way, but you are that. And you're only going to prove it as time goes on even more. The haters are only going to hate as time goes on even more. And folks, this is how it all works. Any last questions? Very well. I'm out.